What up, what up, people? How y'all doing? It's your boy D-House in the building. Coming back at you with another iPhone review. Uh, as you see, it's the iPhone XR. Yellow. And it's an out of box case. And it's 256 gigs. And yes, I got this phone day one it came out. I wanted 256 gig because I wanted the room to do some video and take a lot of pictures and have some music on there. Enough music to wear when I walk in or something. I can listen to it like an iPod and have good music on there. Um, then, like I said, take video pictures. I can upload to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, different stuff like that. Um, yes, this phone is still a really t relatively good phone. And I still use it to this day. Um, it's not my main phone. Uh, the main phone I use is the iPhone 12 Pro that I'm shooting this video off of. But this phone I use, like I said, as a backup phone, take videos, pictures. And yes, I have an out of box case. And this is the third out of box case that I've used that I'm using because over time, over here on the side, as you take it off, the rubber starts to come uh, loose from it. And that's not good. You don't want water to get in there. And so I've had to change it out. Like I said, this is the third one that I've used since I've been had the phone. So basically one a year, almost like one a year. <coughs> and yes, at one time I did have a screen protector on here, but over time that eventually starts to mess up. So I've taken it off and I haven't had a screen protector on here since for about a year and a half. Um, and yes, I have dropped this phone. And, but I haven't broken it or anything, cracked the grass or anything. I'm really pretty good about that. And this particular case has a clip so I can put it on my waist. So I'm pretty protective of my phones. And it has, I don't know if you can see this, but it has a lip here around it. So if it falls on its face, it'll help protect it. It all depends on what it fall, how far it falls and what if it lands on anything. Because if it lands on anything, you will crack your glass. <coughs> or if it falls too far, very hard, it will crack the grass and the phone can mess up. But like I said, normally I haven't dropped it too much over the years since I've been had it. And I've been very protective of my phones. So usually when I go, if I trade a phone in, um, it's usually pretty good condition, it's in real good condition. Or if I sell a phone uh, to someone privately, then it's in good condition. But this phone I paid off and I kept it. And I wanted to keep it as like a backup phone. And yes, it's a little bulky with the case on there. But overall protection of the phone is good. So I want to keep my phone safe. <coughs> and it's not connected to the service right now. And it is unlocked. So if I want to, if I want to connect it to the service, <coughs> I can go anywhere. I can go uh, Sprint, uh, Boost Mobile, uh, AT&T, uh, Metro PCS, AT&T, Cricket, Verizon, or whatever also carrier they have. I can go any prepaid service or anything. So I can get multiple SIM cards I can pop in there and I have service. And this, I can pay monthly for it every month, whatever the price is. You know, usually right around $30, $35, 30 to $40 a month, depending on the service I want to have. You know, if I want unlimited text or anything like that, you know, depending. So, but like I said, this iPhone XR, to me, as you see, I'm watching the video, but this iPhone XR is really, like I said, to me, still a relatively good phone. And I just charge it up and keep it with me. You know, so if I want to, like I said, use it online, but when I'm, I'm usually using Wi-Fi. So whenever I'm near Wi-Fi, I can use it. Cause like I said, I don't have any service on it. So, and it's good if you, you want to use it around Wi-Fi, but you know, you take plenty of pictures, you can always upload or whatever, or if push come to shove. I use my hotspot on my iPhone 12 Pro. But once again, like I said, this phone, I keep it as my backup. So in case I lose my Trail Pro, I got a phone. I can activate this phone. You know, use it until I get another phone or it's time to upgrade or whatever. And I'll get an upgrade phone and then let's keep this one as a backup. So um, someone wants to buy it, but they haven't come up with the money yet. Uh, I'm asking, uh, I was asking 400 uh, but they offered me 350 but they haven't given me the phone yet. That's why I haven't cleared it out back to factory settings so i'm waiting on them so but if they take too long i still may just keep the phone anyway uh, i paid it off for a reason 
Uh, so, but like I said, this particular phone, this iPhone 12 Pro, I love it. Uh, it's still a good phone to have. And I recommend to people to get a case. But a lot of people don't like having cases on their phone. So when you see a phone, you see people's phone, that's really because they messed up or cracked up because they dropped it. They didn't get a case. They didn't get a screen, screen protector. They didn't do anything to protect the phone. Their phone's all beat up. So that, that means they doesn't have a problem taking care of their phone. They didn't have to go out and buy a new phone. And, you know, because over time, when your screen cracks, it goes into the phone and it can mess your phone up. Uh, cause your phone not to, the, the touch part of it to mess up real bad. So you want to be careful with that. So uh, with that being said, just try to be careful with your phone. You know, these phones are very delicate now. You know, just about anything can mess up the phone. And yeah, over time, your touch or whatever will mess up because if you use your phone a lot, you're on your phone a lot. We're on our cell phones a lot. And this touch ID is very delicate when it goes to slide up and all that. It's, it's, it can wear out over time. So uh, you want to be careful by doing a lot of that. Um, and like I said, we spend a lot of time in, in our phone. We're in it like this all the time. Always on the internet, always searching. Always making phone calls or texting. Mostly texting or sending emails. And uh, so be careful with your phones. Uh, the value of the phone, of course, go down whenever time a new one come out. Uh, but over time, you know, you, you can make a pretty good offer. You can sell your phones and make pretty good money. Uh, like my daughter just upgraded her phone and got to keep her iPhone 11. Uh, she had a 64 gig, but uh, she upgraded to a 128 iPhone Pro 12, uh, 13 Pro. But she was running out of space, so she was complaining about the phone too much. So I had to go ahead and get her a new phone. So she still has her iPhone 11. So I don't know what she's going to do with it. Um, it's on her now because I'm not going to put it on my bill so she can have two phone lines. Doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, like I said, this phone to me, the iPhone XR, is still a relatively good phone. I love it and I'll keep it and I recommend it to use anybody. So um, just be, 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 be good to your phone. And I, I just chose yellow for whatever reason. You know, they have different, I forgot the colors they had, but. This is when I think the colors came out, the different colors, the coral, the blue. And uh, so I could should have kept the coral. I like the coral and the blue was good. But the yellow's fine, I keep it. And like I said, I keep my case on it. So these Autobox cases, I want to thank Autobox. You know, they always send me the warranty that is good. You know, you get a lifetime warranty. So all you gotta do is fill out the information, they'll send you a new case. Uh, you have to pay like maybe seven or eight dollars for shipping or whatever case may be, but they'll end up sending you a new case. And they send you some family crazy package. But like I said, iPhone XR, 256 gigs. Thank you, Apple. Thank you, Otterbox, for these phones. Appreciate you. And uh, you guys have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Share this video. Um, I'll be coming back to you later on with another review. Thank you.